Welcome to the video course Metasploit Unleashed. My name is Shane Hartman. I'm the founder and director of Spectre Labs. I have over 20 years of IT experience covering fixing and repairing computers to network engineering and enterprise security. I also teach network forensics and computer security as well as offensive computing at the collegiate level. I'm also a frequent speaker on security topics at local events. You can find me at spectrelabs.com. You can also find me at LinkedIn. I have a YouTube channel and also on Twitter. So let's get over to the course and see what we're going to be talking about. So in section one, we're going to be talking about an overview of what pen testing, exploitation, and actually setting up your Metasploit environment to go through and do your testing so that you can more effectively learn not only the art of exploitation, but to have machines that you can exploit without getting yourself in trouble. In section two, we're going to be looking at scanning and information gathering, or how to take the network or networks that you're in charge of pen testing and gather information about them so that you can more effectively tailor what your pen tests are going to involve. Then in section three, we're going to look at launching payloads and using the interpreter. After that, we're going to pivot to client-side exploits, browser exploits, file type exploits, all the things that are based on the clients, or in other words, the end user machines. Those are the ones that we're going to focus on in section four. In section five, we're going to go back to the server side, and we're going to be looking at things like web servers and databases and the things that are positioned within a network that you are going, that are offered as services and that you can use as a point of exploitation. Then in section six, we're gonna look at uh, other types of exploits or other types of parts that go to an exploits, including privilege escalation, backdoors and pivoting, where you've actually gained a foothold on the network and now you need to move around within it. Then in section seven, we're gonna move over to looking at how you're gonna get into the network that beyond vulnerabilities. And that's gonna include things like social engineering, phishing attacks, and then we're going to also look at visualization of the data that you receive back from your scanning and information gathering. Then in section eight, our final section, we're going to be looking at customizing Metasploit with scripts and packages and making it more attuned to either how you operate as a pen tester or the environment that you happen to be subject to. In order to get started, though, you're going to need to go ahead and set up a few things. You're going to need a machine that has about four gig of RAM, you're gonna need about a gig of disk space and up to 50 gigs of disk space, depending on how, if you set up all the virtual machines that you we would like to set up. Speaking of the virtual machines, you're gonna need software in order to set up the virtual machines, and that could be either VMware or VirtualBox. I would recommend VirtualBox because some of the virtual machines that we have that are that we can pull down are tailored specifically for VirtualBox and they'll work much better than actually trying to do it under VMware. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started.